And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal or I guess plug-in show today. My name is Gabor. Um, and today I thought I'd look at uh, some free stuff from Membrini Audio. Now, full disclosure, um, I am I just started kind of working with Membrini or working with. They gave me a copy of the new uh, Ecstasy Bogner style uh, plugin. And there'll be a video on that coming soon. And depending on when you're watching this, there might be a link to that video in the description below. But they have a bunch of free plugins, and I thought let's check out a few of them um, just to see what they sound like. So uh, this is the Crunk V2, which is their um, kind of free amp sim plugin that you can download. All you got to do is go to their website and create a uh, like a login profile with them, uh, and then you can download it for free amongst other plugins which we're going to look at as well. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. So for this video, I'm going to use my. Uh, Fano Omnis MG6, which is a lovely guitar, uh, which goes via green cable directly into my Audient ID44 interface. I'm going into the DI input in the front. Uh, now I did a video, you can watch it there, uh, and there's a link below as well to, um, it's about uh, in, in pins mismatches when you direct record directly with the guitar into uh, amp sims. Um, things like line level, mic level, instrument level, that sort of stuff, and using a DI or not using a DI, or what input to use. Uh, if you are having issues with recording direct, make sure to check out that video. Now, guitar goes straight into interface, straight into Logic, and this is one of the plugins. So the clean sound without any plugins sounds like this. <laughs> just meh. All right, so this is the default setting, right? So it's basically a one-channel amp. You've got gain, bass, mids, treble, master presence, output, and then you've got the cabinet simulation here, which is a 4x12 vintage 30. You can turn it off and just and use your own uh, external or other plugin, like for example, two notes wall of sound um, to use IRs, but I'm just gonna use the built-in IR. Uh, and this is the default setting. So this is what it sounds like if I turn it on. On the default setting, the only, did I did, only thing I did was turn the output down a bit because I find a lot of these plugins are always very loud. But um, so this is what it sounds like. I think it sounds really cool. Uh, so let's have a quick look at some of the presets. So actually, I should do this first. Let's let's do this first. So all the Nembrini stuff, the free stuff and the stuff you pay for, the layout is basically the same. You've got um, this little kind of square rectangular thing up the top here with all these little squares um, here. So you've got basically this, you can go to the manual and, and about tab. Plus and minus uh, skips forward and backwards through the presets. Uh, undo and redo if you make changes. And then you have an A and a B setting. Basically all that means is you can see the output changes here is you can have two different, you can set it to do different things and quickly skip skip between A and B. Uh, and then you have here the presets or default setting. So you click on that, you get all, there's all the different factory presets. Uh, and then you've got save and bin and all that stuff and an on off switch here as well. Um, or you can turn the whole plugin on and off up the top here. So uh, let's go to, uh, let's check out the, what, six factory presets. This is clean A. Again, I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit. Um, it's clean. Okay, let's check out the next one. Uh, clean B. It's clean, and I mean, even if you dig in a bit more, it's clean. Uh, let's check out a couple more. Uh, 
Crunch A. Maybe turn the volume down a bit again. <laughs> Next one, Crunch B. That sounds really good, actually. I like that one, Crunch B. Uh, lead A, ooh, volume down. going to say there's a bit of noise there what could you do about that well they have free noise gate and go on so this is another free plugin you can uh, download of theirs which is their noise gate um, and it seems to work so let's just leave it at that we've got a noise gate <laughs> can make it maybe quicker or more threshold or stuff but I mean for now this works fine uh, okay last one lead B Ooh, it's loud very loud <laughs> You may be saying, well, it's nice, but it's quite dry. What could you do about that? Well, for example, what you could do is you can uh, open up the analog rack, which is a delay. So this is, again, just a default setting. Again, with that, you've got tons of presets in there. Um, what is there? I don't know. Uh, what about the Andy, whatever his name is, spread delay? <laughs> sounding delay as well um so i mean there's that right um now okay let's turn it off uh and actually i'm just going to quickly change guitars all right so i'm now using my uh, 1978 greco most likely eg500 there's a video about it here it's a, sort of a guitar that was in in bits and pieces and i kind of put it back together you can watch a video about that uh, and i put some fantastic i really dig them uh fishman um fluence classic pickups into it uh and they was the same setting that lead B sounds, sounds like that. But let's now, for example, go back to um, Crunch B, I think was quite good. <laughs> Okay, 
but I want more. I want, how could I possibly get more? Well, for example, they also do a free 808 style um, plugin, which is this one. So I can kind of hit the front end of the amp. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, that sounds pretty cool to me. I could go, let's say, clean B, for example, and let's use it more like an overdrive. Also, if you're more interested in um, kind of different style overdrive, there's also this, the Minotaur, which is their kind of version of a clon. Uh, that's free as well. So you can now, again, let's turn that off. You can go into a clean amp and just use a gain from that. So now, okay, for example, uh, use this in a more kind of clony sort of way. Some people use a clon more as a boost, right? So I'm going into now the, turn it off. This is now the, just the amp sound a bit more driven. Well, a lot more driven, actually. That sounds really good. Uh, just to show you, so this is without the cabinet. That's with the, with the cabinet makes a big difference. Uh, now, for example, you can use it, turn the gain down and use it more like some people use it more as a boost to hit the front end, come on, of the amp. But different flavor to the 808. More vintage sounding, less chugga chugga sounding. And then we can, again, let's maybe bring up the delay. And get that going.
so it's quite dynamic as well. You can turn the volume of the pickup down, um, and it works really well. It's a, I think it's for again, it's a it's a bunch of free plugins. There's others too. There is a um, a chorus as well. There is a um, uh, what do they call it? Clean it cleans up or something like that. It's it's a, basically a high pass and low pass filters. You can roll off the extreme lows and extreme highs to tighten things up a little bit more. There's also a full plugin that does. Um, like to, to, that turns it into standalone uh, um, um, software. So you can actually use that plugin. Uh, I might put a picture up on the screen of it now. Um, and you can put uh, their and bringing plugins into it. I think up to 12 of them and use it as a standalone thing. Um, that's a, a quick look at the free stuff from uh, Nembrini Audio free plugins. If there's anything in particular you want me to go through and look at a little bit more in depth, let me know in the comments below. Uh, there will be, like I said, a video of the um, uh, ecstasy style amp coming up shortly or depending on when you're watching this it's already been uh, done and there will be a link in the description below once it's done so thank you so much for watching uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to make sure you don't miss uh, the full video when it the video of the ecstasy when it comes out please make sure to hit the notification bell as well uh, and about yeah about 90 percent of our viewers are not subscribed so it really really helps out if you do subscribe so uh, awesome thank you so much and see you next time bye